So again, acquisition of, of the substrate or substrates causes a change in the shape of the enzyme that, that really directly results in catalysis, that the, the catalyza, catalyzation of the reaction is, is really a consequence of these changes in shape of the enzyme. Products are released, they diffuse away, and without the products, the enzyme able, is able to relax its shape back to what it originally looked like, where it's available for more binding to substrate or substrates. Now, we can control the function of enzymes. In fact, a very important aspect of our physiology, how our bodies work, is that enzymes are not functional all the time. When they're needed, they can be turned on. And when they're not needed, they can be turned off. And this allows us to keep from doing things that we don't necessarily need to be doing all the time or allows us to make only a certain amount of a product so that we don't make way too much product and either poison our cells or waste a lot of energy. So we have mechanisms of control of enzyme functioning. And these mechanisms, by and large, work by blocking the binding of the substrate to the active site. So a typical point of control of enzyme functioning is blocking um, the formation of the enzyme substrate complex by blocking the enzyme substrate interaction. 